The recent death of an Atlanta hip hop artist has gained national attention with music fans all over the country remembering Buddy's contribution as a member of the rap group Dim Franchise Boys. And the group sat down with one on one with 11 Alive's Naima Abdullahi for this week's ATL Culture. The world knew him as Buddy from Dem Franchise Boys, going from Westside Atlanta to the Billboard charts, dropping anthem after anthem. But his close friends, also members of the group, really knew Gerald Tiller. How much did music mean to him? Oh, a lot. You know, music was everything. Like, his creativity was amazing. The group says the good times are what gets them through this pain. Buddy lost his battle with cancer, leaving a huge void. I know it's just to be strong throughout that point. It was hard, he stayed upbeat and smiled. He, he went through a lot, just, just going through chemo. They recall how Buddy stayed strong throughout his struggle. He fought a hard battle. The tributes pouring in online from Jermaine Dupri and many others reminding everyone of the group's impact. We made a big impact. We're the pioneers of the of this wave. Help in my white tea. Help in my white tea. But it was one of the main reasons we came up with white tea. He's the one who actually said we need to do a, sh a song about white t-shirts. He ain't seen Buddy on the block, they call me Dr. Doc. What you mean he ain't seen Buddy on the block? Dr. Doc will prescribe what they need. They hope the group's contribution to hip hop will always be remembered and that Buddy will never be forgotten. Just know I gave it my all. Didn't want to leave, but he gave me the Yes, and every single time the franchise boys comes on, whether you are in the club or just anywhere, it brings so many people together listening to their music. The funeral is actually scheduled for this Saturday at Springfield Missionary Baptist Church at noon. The family will also have a viewing for Buddy tomorrow in Decatur, Chesley. All right, thanks a lot, Francesca. Let's look